Today's video is sponsored by Solder Stick. Watch at the end of the video for a special message. Thank you, Solder Stick. Hey, good morning. What's happening, guys? Today, we are going to take a look at this nice little relay module that I bought off of AliExpress. And I'll show you this uh, just little test jig I made to make sure it works and kind of burn it in. Let's uh, jump over the computer. I'll take you to AliExpress and show you where I got this and the price and tell you why I picked this one. Okay, I will post a link down below. But as you can see, this is from the Junbaoai store. And what they call it is 1248 channel DC 5 volt relay module with auto coupler, low level trigger. That's important. Expansion board for Arduino. Now the one that I got is this one here. It is the uh, the four channel one. And you notice on these on these uh, relays, you can tell that they Photoshop the name off of them, even though they. Uh, well, when we go back and look at the actual one, you can tell they're they're probably fake. They're not real solvable relays. Anyway. So the price on this, this one here, is $2.29. That's for the four unit. If you want one, 99 cents. If you want two, buck fifty. Four, two twenty-nine, eight, four dollars and twenty-two cents. I mean, that, if you need eight relays, that's a good price. And this one, which is somewhat similar to the first one, but different. Well, that's fun. Anyway, these came in about two weeks. They were just super fast shipping, which is something I've noticed from uh, AliExpress lately. All right, let's go back over the bench and we'll take a look at it. All right, so here's the board. Um, it's about credit card sized. With a height of maybe three quarters of an inch, you know, somewhere around what, 20 millimeters, just a guess. But yeah, if you look here, you can see they do say Songle on them. I'm not sure they are. Now, each channel here contains an LED to let you know when it's active, an optocoupler to prevent. You know any flyback coming out of the relay from getting into your microprocessor and they're doing that of course not just with an optocoupler but there is a uh, flyback diode there across it we've got a little transistor there this is nicely done the only thing i can't really figure out is this here this jd vcc i mean you can short it or open it but that's about it doesn't really seem to make a whole lot of difference. So if I plug this guy in here, let's uh, we'll go orange for ground and yellow for VCC. Give me one second to get the power supply ready. While I'm doing that, let me just tell you, I have so much stress lifted from me, not having to create four circuits, get them working on a board every month. Man, I tell you what, that was like eating me alive. This is <laughs> a weight. A weight has been lifted. You know, that's that's a cliche you know oh, a weight has been lifted yeah well let me tell you what a weight has truly been lifted here I feel like I can breathe again and I'm very excited to get back to videos every day if I can pull it off can I pull it off I don't know we'll see 
All right, we have uh, five volts on the power so let me just show you so we're feeding at five volts it is pulling a milliamp now it is pulling nothing oh there it's back okay so we'll zoom out here and these are low signals so I have this connected to the ground and all I have to do is ground each pin and you can see they activate and I move my finger onto each relay so I can feel them click. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, it's good. I like these. Now, in addition, if you look at the bottom here, you can see we have cutouts and spacing. We've got anti-tracking going on there. Very nice from our low, our low power DC seals or flyback uh, diode there. Even the soldering on these is nice. They're I mean they're obviously wave soldered, and I will trim these pins down there. Uh, they're about three sixteenths of an inch long, a little a little too much for my liking. But you can also see here if it'll focus. They have marked your normally closed and your normally open. That's your common. So yeah, for $2, and like I said, this came in like two weeks. I think this is excellent. Let me know what you think in the uh, comments down below. I'll put a link to where you can order one of these if uh, that's something you need in your life. And if not, well... That's okay too, right? <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, taking a look at this little AliExpress relay board. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment and share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. If you're not a patron yet, oh, look at that. Let me stuck to my my screen there. Yeah, if you're not a patron yet, well, right there's the link www.patreon.com slash learn electronics buck a month is all i ask helps us buy need things like this to play with keeps the channel going and i want to tell you guys that are patrons now i appreciate each and every one of you and consider you each my friends so thank you that's it that's all i got for today hope you guys enjoyed that's it i'm out peace Today's video is brought to you by Solder Stick. Solder Stick makes quick, waterproof wire connections that last a long time and protect whatever it is you're working on. They sell different types of connectors, everything from T-tap connectors, which allow you to put a splice into the middle of a wire without having to cut the wire or remove any insulation. waterproof uh, melt butt connector kits spade connector kits which if you work on cars or boats you know how useful they will be and the same goes for ring connectors when you need to connect a wire to something with a nut and a bolt this is simply the way to do it solder stick remember them for all of your wire connection needs there's a link down below for a discount